Well, there's been an eruption there on the Big Island of Hawaii. The new eruption is on the southwest rift zone of Kilauea Volcano. It's located within Hawaii's Volcano National Park. Um, evidently, good news, it's not a threat to the Hawaiian Island communities at this time. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, and there's a current image of one of the cameras. You can see the, uh, yeah, the smoke, the gases coming up from the volcano. The location of that camera is right there. Okay, let me make this larger. There you go. We got an earthquake, which is what, a magnitude 2.5 close by. Um, 1706 local time. Late, um, or yesterday, last night, there was a magnitude 4. And there was also a magnitude 4.1. Um, that was at 706. Yeah, I had a look here. 706 p.m. last night for the 4.0. Um, they gave it an intensity level of 3. Um, 18 people said they felt it, but USGS said it was intensity level 5. What was interesting about this 4.0, um, there was a report close to, I think this is Captain Cook Outlet over there. They gave it an intensity level 2. Now the 4.1 was actually felt all the way over in um, Honolulu on the other island over here I'll show you that in a minute but let me go back in over here okay so we got um, Pahala intensity level 3 one response there Mountain View uh, one response intensity level 2 a volcano nine responses from there and four more from there and then closer to um, um, the side of the island towards the coast there was two responses there so here is the magnitude 4.1 37 people said they felt that um, sometime after these two earthquakes they raised the alert level um, to orange and watch which means that an eruption was coming they just weren't sure when it was going to happen intensity level 4 Oh, I had the wrong island. Oh, okay. Up over here. Yeah, Honolulu, I believe that is. Um, there was one response. Um, intensity level 2. Okay, and see how... I mean, between a 4.0 and a 4.1, yeah, it's 10 times stronger. But it was interesting how the smaller earthquake, they, they felt it over here. But this one, the 4.1, it wasn't reported, which I thought was kind of odd. So intensity level 4, 9 responses from there. Um, volcano, 18 from there, intensity level 3. Hilo, 2 responses, intensity level 3. Um, and that would be Honomu. Yeah. I mean, they did feel it on the other island. Um, yeah, just different. So the magnitude 4.1 was at 9.12 p.m. At a depth of about a half a mile, they figured. Um, it was not strong enough to do any damage, ne neither of them. And it did not create um, a tsunami. But anyways, before this eruption, they did raise the alert level. Because of seismicity and ground deformation for the East Rift Zone. Kilauea Summit increases activity. That began approximately at 12 p.m. Hawaii time yesterday. Indicating that magma was moving below the surface. And the rates of seismicity and deformation increased further after 5 p.m. You can see here. How all of a sudden we got a drop in um, the tilt, the uplift. This image here is as of 9.41 a.m. local time there in Hawaii. 
So they raised the advisory level from yellow to watch slash orange. Before this eruption, rates of seismicity and ground deformation beneath the middle and the lower east rift zone and southwest rift zone remained low. Um, at that time, um, they did have activity to be restricted to the summit region and the upper east rift zone. In the past 24 hours, there has been 295 earthquakes. Yeah, and that's for everything, all earthquakes. Uh, for a magnitude 2.5 in the last 24 hours, there's been 85 of them. Yeah, I don't see anything listed as above sea level. Yeah, they're all, um, yeah, about a half a mile. Um, one zero point one mile, the most recent earthquakes, there's the 2.5. But this is the area, I believe, where it's erupting down over here. Okay, and that was a 2.8, and that was today. And then we also got a 2.7 also today and a 2.5 so somewhere in this area is where it's currently erupting here we have another image of the current eruption yeah you can see here you can follow it long along for the uh, fault that's probably opening up or actually fissure and here we got some um, drawings from USGS of other eruptions in the past we got 1974 and 1971 oh and they actually got where the footprints are at I have that on my map too hold on well it's not on here anymore I do have the uh, 1974 eruption drawn out um, here we got the southwest rift zone yeah when I had a uh, re-upload my Google Earth. I lost all that data. Yeah, it's not on here anymore. Darn it. Yeah, it's a fossilized footprints of a group of people um, from another eruption that they found. Yeah, that was fossilized. Um, a group of people and, and one or two children from what I remember. Here on Twitter, or X, they also have another image of the eruption. It's actually in an area between the two past eruptions. This is a new area um, that hasn't erupted before. All right, USGS also has an image of an overflight of all the uh, lava that's coming up. Remember, it's called magma when it's still under the ground and then called lava when it erupts. That's a pretty long little fissure, isn't it? Yeah. And we got some other little things happening over here on the on the side. I wonder if they're gonna fly back over in the other direction. I don't know. I haven't watched this until just now. Okay, they're going to... No. Well, that was a quick little flight, isn't it? Oh, look at the size of the crack. Wow. Uh, okay. There, I paused it. There, I paused it so you could see the... Let me bring this... Yeah, look at the size of that crack. Let me bring it down. Yeah, I wonder how many feet that is. It's... Um, yeah, kind of hard to tell from a view of the helicopter. Yeah, they're and not very good camera angle. Okay, what else we got? We'll just, that's it. Wow. Maybe the fumes were too strong or I don't see any signs of ash, but um, you just don't know. There could be ash. That's why they made the flight so short. Or maybe it was the cost of the flight. <laughs> I don't know. 
I'm being a, a smart ass here. Yeah. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And always be prepared. I know it's got to be stressful living there. Constantly worrying that you're going to have to move. Have you prepared to move? Um, what type of things do you do when you prepare to move? Yeah, I, I send my prayers to you guys. Yeah, yeah, my heart goes out to you. I mean, it's a beautiful island. But, you know, the things you have to go through. Yeah, to live in paradise. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.